So this week we're going to talk about production. And it's important that you understand the conceptual idea of what we're going to try to do from a macro perspective before we go into the more detailed uh, equations. So essentially any production process is very basic. It works in the following way. You take some inputs, let's say labor and machines, which economists usually call capital, and then you, um, you enter them into, you use them in some way, so you kind of throw those inputs into this box that we call production, and then voila, you produce some output. If it's cars, it's cars. If it's, um, you know, you have a coffee shop, it's coffee cups. So the important process that we're gonna study here is essentially what happens in this box, all right? This is what changes, is how a company uses its inputs to produce this output. This is what we're gonna cover in this chapter. The most basic way we can kind of mathematically uh, model that is by saying that the output the company produced, we call that Q, is gonna be a function of two types of inputs. Labor, which are inputs that you can change pretty quickly, we call that variable inputs, and then capital, which we usually use a K, which are inputs that take a little longer to change. Uh, machines, plant, and equipment usually take a little longer to be able to change than uh, hire or fire some employees. So essentially, once you have this framework, what you're essentially gonna be working with is with this production process, which is constraining for the company, that happens in this particular box in here. And remembering that what the company wants to do is to get out more, as much output as they can by reducing the cost of producing it, constrained by the fact that they have to use a certain amount of inputs to do that. 